Okay, so today we're going to talk about singletons. In our last tutorial about static variables and methods, we talked about, you know, car having a paved road, car dot paved, or a road, whatever it was. And the idea is that it's a shared variable. Everyone can see and access. So singletons are pretty much the same thing, except it's a shared class. Everyone has the same class. So now, we'll take a look at that, and it'll probably make a little more sense. Over here, we have a class called Tutorial. And it's got a main method, and it just makes, it goes through, and it tries to make 10 tutorials. And they're all going to be with a name called Singleton, and we'll just do plus i. So that way it's Singleton 0, Singleton 1. And over here we have the tutorial name, so we're just going to say this.name equals, you know, tutorial name. And uh, now we have to get the teacher. Now, we have something, I already made a class called school. Now, school is pretty simple. What we have here is an array list. And we have a constructor, and in that constructor we make a new array list, and we add Jack, Jill, John, Adam, and Bill to that array list. And now we have a method called getTeacher. And what that does is, if there are teachers left, so if teachers.size is greater than zero, return one of the teachers and remove it from the list, because he's no longer available right now. And then, if there's no teachers left, just return no teacher. So I guess it'll be an empty classroom. So now what we do over here is if we want to get a teacher, what we're going to do is do school, school equals new school, and there we go. And teacher will just be equal to school, whoops, school dot get teacher. So let's save this. Now, what we're going to do is, by the way, use a little nifty function in NetBeans on to show you insert code, getter and setter, and now we can just insert name and teacher. Just hit click that, and there you go, you get all these getters and setters. Now what we're going to do in our main method is we're just going to uh, print out, you know, the, the name of the tutorial and the teacher for that tutorial. So now let's just run tutorial, let's right click and just run file. So now you're going to see over here, Singleton0 has teacher Jack, they all have teacher Jack, so what happened? Well, I think if you think about it for a moment it'll make sense, you made a new school over here and each time you make a new school it has its own list of teachers they're not shared because this is just an instance not a static one so now what we can actually do is we can actually do what we just did right here public final static school school equals new school and all we have to do now is instead of asking for a new school we can just delete this and just go school dot school and so now we're only asking for a static variable, which means that, yeah, there really is one class, or you can make as many classes, or there, there's one instance, but everyone shares that one instance, and you can get it really easily with this code. So there we go. And now let's run this thing again. So if we run this, this file again, we're actually going to get Jack, Jill, John, Adam, and Bill. We'll go through the list. And then there won't be any teachers for the last five or so classes. And so that is how you make a singleton. And it's pretty much done here, except there might be a few ways to make singletons. Some people like to make this uh, private, and they like to uh, get rid of the static and get rid of this. And they make something called a singleton method. So what we'll do is public static, and we'll make it a school. And this is pretty much the exact same uh, end result. And now if school equals null, we're going to return school equals new school. Uh, otherwise, we'll just, uh, sorry, we're going to make school equal to new school. We shouldn't return it just yet. But no matter what happens, we're going to return school. And so pretty much what happens is if it doesn't exist, make a new school. If it does exist, just return whatever exists. And that, that way you're always going to get the same school. So now if we go over to here, we'll just do school.singleton. Now if we save this, we're pretty much going to get the same thing if we run it. There's no, no difference, John Jack, and then no teacher five times. Now one of the things that might be useful here is if school equals null, or let's say we say uh, teachers or school or school.teachers dot size equals you know zero so now this is pretty interesting so what we just did right now is if school equals null it'll make a new school if there is a school then it'll check if the teacher if there's no teachers if there's no teachers we will make a new school because well doesn't that make sense 
So this is where having a method might make a little more sense. So now you have John, John Jack, uh, Jack, Jill, John, Adam, Bill, and then it'll repeat again. The way of code actually works quite well. And the real problem with it is, in fact, if you want to serialize this, um, or, you know, you make a new school. So, for instance, I could code over here, school, school equals, you know, new school. And you can't really stop me from doing that and everything. Um, so now, you know, there's lots of ways of almost attacking my code, I guess. Or, you know, a very bad programmer might, you know, accidentally attack my code, whatever it might be. So now, how do you get around this? So now, let's say I make this into enum. And now, I can do something along the lines of... You know instance and of course I can do something like that instance and um, so pretty much now we can get rid of this school method and uh, let's get rid of this uh, public here so now now we have this perfect enum and we can actually get rid of this thing and it does all the serialization and protection from being attacked by you know some sort of code and you can't do you know school equals new school stuff like that so school dot you know uh, instance and, and and there you go and now let's just save that and run it and so this enum seems to be a much better way of coding singletons than otherwise of course you don't really have this option of making a new school if you run out. You know, there, there are some limitations. Of course, you can make many instances. So maybe the first one is, uh, you know, middle school. Whoops. Middle school, and this one's, you know, high school or something like that. And uh, usually you probably want to keep them capitalized for, you know, like I said before, that's just the way people do things with static variables. Not necessary, though. So now we've lost this instance variable, but now we have a high school, or uh, maybe we want to do middle school, you know. We have all these different schools, and that's an advantage to a nums over, you know, singleton. Singleton, there's really only one. But let's say we want three or four schools, and we know we only want three or four schools, and maybe each school is, you know, like our situation here, middle school, high school, university. And so now you can actually have multiple ones like the singleton system that we developed, but it, it's... It, it's just much more logical. You know, you have to choose really what you're designing and whether this is going to be important. And, you know, there's a lot of design decisions that even come in whether you want to use singletons. Singletons are where there's only should be one class and then it should be shared.